Hey guys, it's Wyatt here. So we're just gonna Ooh. still record, still record. Perfect. All right, how you guys doing? So this is J Concepts Racing Team new bag. So we're gonna start off by opening it, and we're gonna show you what's inside. So I have two of these. So if you follow me on Facebook at William RC, you notice I posted a picture of these and I said I'm gonna review. So these are really great and I love them. So one of the main reasons I love them is for this function right here. Look why it's pulled out. This is a four out of buggy, 10 scale, right? Pretty massive if, you say, if I do this myself. So if it's that, um, no wheels, of course, but if it's a wing body, full. So I'll take the extra time and take the wheels off. That's no problem to me. All right, so I'm also cleaning up from a race. I just came back from a double header weekend, um, race on Saturday and race on Sunday. So there's no videos in that guys, but there's a post on it on my social medias. So that's all done. The next one is the top drawer. I'll pull this, shut this up for you. All right, so this is a little messy, but and the paint's starting to fall off, guys. I apologize. I'll turn it the other way, I guess. The paint looks better on this side. This is my B6.3 that I have a review on the channel. So we'll have a link in the iCard to this video. And I'll link the iCard probably to the EB410 too. So if you want to learn about that and what, how I built it and what's on it and everything, that's what's going on. So she's not very clean this carpet, as you can see. So there's some carpet with the fibers on her. But this is how she works. So, so far, she's doing really good. That's, that's why I have my first bike. So I would definitely recommend these for anybody. For the main reason, if you're just the ease of carrying stuff. Um, so we'll review the bag. Now you guys saw it's in that one. So I have a second one here. So we'll review this bag. So how it comes, I probably should not know why I just closed it anyways. guys. So how it comes is in a flat, well, this tall, right? And these drawers. So these drawers here are all coral, as you can see, coral, right? So, oh, that's a little left that I didn't take off. Um, there was some extra pieces you gotta take off. And it comes flat, you gotta fold it in and put the handle. Um, I don't have a video on how to make these, um, but there is another video on how to make them on YouTube. So look up the JC Park bag and there's a guy who has a whole video. It's the older style of this bag, but it's built the same way, just different outside. And that's how you build it. So, with that, I'll put it aside, put this inside, boom. Then you have this outer shell. I don't wanna pull it off because the whole thing's been in, but we'll pull it a little bit. Let me pull this out here for you guys. Just a little. Yeah, I can't pull it out. It's kind of set in there. I have it all kind of folded in right now, but this is all core glass, right? So it's all of plastic, nice, super lightweight, just like your pet bags would be. And yeah, so this is my two drawers. So that's what this one is. And you have this nice black fabric material, very nice finisher look, um, very much do like it. I like my bags up like this when I have to close them and that's just to get the maximum bucker on it. So as they're up like this, you guys can see, there's rubber pads in the bottom. So we have five rubber pads. You keep it from, you can see the slides there now. Now it's a little grippier. On the back side, you have a spot right here to put a card, your business card, your client card, whatever you want to put there, your name on it, and then you got your JC logo on both sides. So that's in bag one, all right? Now this is the heavier of the two for me. And this is bag two. So we'll open this up and I'll show you kind of what I bring. To every race with me right now. So once I bring, I bring everything with me to a race and I bring a lot of stuff with me. And so I know I, I have what I need. So first things first in the bottom is I have an ESC. This happens to be an ESC that I got and I pulled out and I haven't ran it yet. So I have to put that in, this is going to my new two liter buggy, my dirt for high bike clay. Because anyone who knows me and I have a buggy for every surface I race on. So I like to at least. So if I don't have one, I just convert one over. So right now I have two full air buggies, one for carpet, one for dirt. 
And we have a clay track that's opened up in the Maritimes where I, and close to where I race at. About four and a half, five hours from where I live. So I'm, I drive that in a day pretty easily. Round trip. Drive both ways. Ten hours a day driving. And an eight hour race day. Great fun days. But I like to run cars designated that track where I can grab the car off the shelf where I left it last season for setup wise and boom, go at it. Or I last race day. So if I, cause I might race at a track today, that's like we run outdoor dirt tracks. All our tracks are very similar outdoors, very similar traction. It's just tires that we have to change and minor setups. But for carpet to dirt, there's a lot of differences. I keep my cars clean on carpet, dirt, I help them get a little dirty. So for this high bike clay track, I like to have everything nice and clean before I go on the track. So I have a B6.2D all ready for there. I have a B6.2D with a four gear stand up for my outdoors dirt. And then the B6.3 for my carpet. And I have my EB410.2 for carpet. And I have a second EB410.2 for dirt. And I'll probably end up buying a third one for my high bike clay. So now with that said, I'm getting a little off topic. So this is my lipo bag. So this is if I have any lipos. So this was an off-road weekend race. Um, this is my soldering iron. Um, it's kind of funny when I say that. Uh, it's my soldering iron battery. So I have a soldering iron track side and need the success to power it. So that's the only non-shorty pack I brought with me. The follow-up with that is my ProTech tools. So this is kind of reviewing the bad guys and also it's kind of in it too. So that's kind of what I have in it. So, um... You guys might remember I had an OGO bag that I used to carry around. I still do. What is that? I have my pit lamp. You guys just saw that fresh review. If not, tag it in the eye card. Then we got this right here. I got two of these. Um, I got four batteries. I ran four classes. So one bag per car. Uh, my team zombies. And I have two of those with J-Concepts. Forgot to mention the ESC, guys. It's a XR10 Pro G2 by Hobbywing. Again, another lipo here. So, another bag, another case. And just to be safe, I have my college mask. Um, in case I forgot one. I wore a different one on track, but you never know if I forget one. Then in this, we have a parts, rubber parts tray. One. And two. Truggy tires. I use these for car stands. So my buggy sit on top of these because they're the lowest car I got. And then I have a car stand. And then I got my car stand for my short course truck. Shock rebuilding station. Um, in case you gotta rebuild a shock track side. Which fun fact, I actually had to this race. Um, camera gauge, don't wanna go to a race without one of those. Dewalt, quarter chuck, drill. Um, Gyro, so nice that way. Rotates down, rotates up, battery pulls out. Good setup that way. Like it. Ah, here it is. This is the McLean soldering iron. Um, I happen just to buy the McLean one. So this is everything I need in it. Mine is my 6S. So it has a little station here to hold it. It has solder, it has the wires, the iron itself. So it's all set up there already in case I've got a SAR or something. All I need is a 6S battery and make sure it's charged, which I always charge it at races. Um, this is my temp gun and instruction manual that I realized I don't need no more. Um, so this is my SCARC temp gun. Great temp gun, recommend it. I use it for nitro primarily, guys, but we actually use this weekend. And then every other race, we should have one of these. This is a digital calibers. You guys don't need to see what's inside of it. So yeah, I think that's everything. So that's everything, guys. So that's my bags. So that's not only what's in them, but what they look like and what they are. Uh, would I recommend this? A hundred percent would recommend this. This is one of the best bags I bought in a long time. That's an RC Pacific bag. So I love my Ojo bags because in my Ojo bags, I have all my parts trays, my tool tray that has like all my mitts to like my over in grease, some Velcro. Uh, my all my screwdrivers that go on my into my chalk and my electric screwdriver a couple of the bits um some servos pliers stuff like that like other tools that i use that don't go in my other tool bag 
Um, I put my tool belt, my toolbox, just like um, you guys seen the video on them in my other OGO video, which I'll see also tag up above. Um, am I gonna update that with my new update? What's I put in the bag nowadays? But yeah, so this is what it looks in right now. This is what's in it. So she works pretty good. Um, ten out of ten, I recommend. Uh, I recommend these to anybody who wants a good bag. Um, you can also get an eight scale pit bag. Uh, I run the ProTech one. It's great. Uh, my problem with the ProTech one is it started to break over seven, eight years of usage. And so now it just sits back here, guys, behind me as like a center. And I just put my rags in it that I need. I put other stuff in it that I need. Um, so I'm going to add to this is put some rags in it. That way I have it. Actually, I might put it with my buggies to give them a little cushion. But I have some rags. But yeah. Um, in my OGO bag, like I said, would be my charging, my two chargers, my shock oils, my diff oils, my parts, and my tools. So, and then my short course truck I carried in, and my other stuff. So, yeah, that's everything, guys. That's what it is. So, how I get a review, the build, um, out of the box, if you, if you just went to the hobby shop and bought the bag and didn't do any looking into this bag at all, um, I wouldn't recommend that i recommend looking into it as in going on the j concept website where they have an amazing manual on the website digital manual explaining how to build it there's no instructions in the bag to explain how to build it when i got it so i went online to that between online and between everything else um, videos on youtube i asked guys at the shop, my local shop um asked them if they have any recommendations any suggestions and that's what they recommended so yeah that's what we did, so that's what we're gonna do. So she re recommended it, so I definitely recommend it. Um, if you're a pro race, if you race every weekend, every other weekend, um, and you wanna get your pits kinda of starting to look nice, um, definitely I recommend it. Um, it's great organization, it keeps you more organized. I know where my stuff is. I set this underneath my table when all the stuff I pull out of this bag, guys, and that stuff's in here. And my ProTech tool bag sits on top right here under my table so it fits perfectly. I have a collapsing table so it fits perfectly underneath there. My OG bags are underneath my other table because I do like an L setup at my track because um, we will tear down one day locations. And the other bag is sitting on the other end of the table because I put each of the end of the tables and that um, sits there for the rest of the day. It's usually the rules empty but I put stuff on top, uh, controller go on top, anything going on top here. Uh, pending a buggy, if it's broken, needs repair or any room on my table. Um, I had my headphones on it the other day with the track practicing. So kind of put whatever you want there, guys. It's nice and great and definitely would recommend, but yeah. So keep myself on point guys. We're doing great here, but, uh, yeah. So if you, if you're a guy who finds that you need a little more organization, help getting organized, great bag for you. If you see this video and you love it, great bag for you. If you like it, great bag, go get it. Um, definitely I would go get another one if I need one, but I bought two, only need two. And uh, again, like I said, just nice drawers, like it fits Charlie tires in it. I could probably put my carpet tires in here. I don't, I don't bring a lot of carpet tires with me. Um, I could probably fit them all in here if I wanted to save room. Like I fill my stuff up and they're half full of drawers. I could fill them up a lot more. Uh, I don't need the tires. Those are optional things. Take those out, more room for actual carpet tires I use, but stuff like that. You can rearrange a bit more, but if you run buggies, 10 scale four or buggy, you can put everything you need, monitor remote and parts in here. And you could probably even put your parts in here if you wanted to. Um, realistically, if you really wanted to, you could put everything in the other bag, your buggies in the other bag, and in this bag, you could put your batteries, your parts, if they fit in the containers, like you could get everything to fit into this. Like these are pretty big guys. Like they're pretty massive. Like here's a, again, here's a two of our buggy. Like it fits a two of our buggy pretty strong in there, as you can see. So it's the length of a two of our buggy. So it fits that pretty strong. And that's the three millimeter extra chassis. So it fits a lot. So I'm trying to ramble on guys and I apologize, but I definitely would recommend this for you 100% and yeah. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to drop a like. So hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn post notification on because you never know when I'm going to upload. I'm really bad at being consistent for uploading, guys. I'm hoping to be a bit better at that. 
but here we go. So you guys are gonna get this video today. Make a couple other videos coming in the future. And anyways, guys, have a great day. We'll talk to you guys all later. Peace out.